What's up, everybody? Today we're talking about the original hot pepper sauce. Yeah, um, out of Colorado. Um, we don't know a lot about these guys. Not a ton of info online. So seems like they're kind of just getting going. Um, I've tried this one time before. I don't. You haven't tried this, right? I don't think I've had this one yeah. unless I was over here drunk and tried it and forgot about it. So. <laughs> It's possible. But um, guys, I guess uh, these guys um, do everything out of Pueblo, Colorado. Uh, that's where all their peppers are growing and everything. Um, and they're fermented and barrel aged, right? Yeah. Like yeah. Um, fermented and barrel aged hot pepper sauce um, mm -hmm. out of Pueblo. So pretty uh, quick ingredient list on this one. Water, chili peppers, onion, carrots, sea salt, honey, garlic, spice, and oh, xanthan gum is that right? Xanthan gum. Xanthan gum. Yeah. yeah. Oh, uh, I thought that had a which is a thickening <laughs> agent you can use if you're on the keto diet. Mm. So this is we don't want to say it's keto approved, but could be good. Uh, nope. No nope. carrots and honey already kill it. <laughs> All right. Oh. Let's see what we got. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say I'm not really a big fan of that. No. Uh, I had kind of high hopes, but um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I need to go back in for a second one. It's pretty watered down. I was going to say it's very watery. It's like I could probably drink that bottle right now. Not that I want to, but yeah. Um, that's crazy. Huh? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's, I feel like it's not a bad flavor, but it's just kind of like, it's bland. It's very, you know? very it's, bland. It's, for other hot sauces with the same ingredients, like there's a lot more out there with more flavor, I feel like. And I just realized um, this one, it doesn't list vinegar as an ingredient. I feel like I taste vinegar though. I know. Like it's in there, but. Yeah, they don't list it as an ingredient. I feel like I taste it, but. Um, I mean, if you're just getting into uh, hot sauces, um, you know, don't have a high tolerance at all, this would maybe be a good uh, yeah. starter spot for, for you. Sure, for sure. Get a little spice going, um, but it's relatively bland for anybody who's super into like nice hot sauces. I'd say I had higher hopes for something that is barrel aged, but. Yeah, or, or from Colorado. Uh, right. So far, I think Double Tap's representing the best for Colorado right now. Yeah. Uh, that or the Murph stuff. I don't know. We're going to get into a few other ones uh, from here. But, yeah. Anything else you got to add? Uh, yeah, I guess I would eat that on, like, nothing. <laughs> Sorry. No offense. <laughs> don't like it. <laughs> At least we both don't like one for a change. Yeah. So. But um, I think I saw that these guys are maybe starting to put out a few different sauces so hopefully down the road we can get a hold of some of those and maybe this is their uh beginner sauce maybe they're making a little more advanced sauces with a little more uh powerful flavor profiles yeah right um but if you guys have any recommendations on sauces we should try um comment down below um leave a like subscribe to the channel let us know uh what you want to see us do yeah uh, thanks for checking this one out, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace. We out.